Welcome back to Inside Marquette Basketball. One of the features at the new Pfizer Forum is splitting the students into two separate sections behind the baskets. As it turns out, the move is having a big impact on the games. Yeah, so basically a couple hours before tip-off is when they'll let us in these doors and then we'll wait up at the top of the stairs for about a half hour before they can let us into like the arena arena. You know, we have about an hour and a half before the game tips off. So leading all the cheers and doing the best we can just to hype up the, the student section. It's really fun like during the game and being in the front. This is my fourth year that I've had an opportunity to do Big East basketball for FS1 and for Fox Sports Wisconsin. So Marquette's playing as well as anybody in the country right now. It's, it's going to be a fun one today. And it's nice to see a guy like Bruce Weber, who's a Milwaukee guy, who's born and raised here. For him to come back for the first time since 1979-ish, it's going to be a fun little homecoming for him. But I think Wojo wants to take him down today. And now get on your feet. Oh, let's meet your Marquette Golden Eagles. The car and a floater in the lane around it. Mike Theory always against a good half court defensive team. Don't let him get into the half court. That's absolutely correct. Underneath a three-second violation called on Mayween. And another turnover. That's the fourth forced by Marquette's defense, which has been totally revamped from last year to this year. Quarter three, McGurl too strong. Two for eight now for K-State from long range. Power blown by McGurl. Marquette with an 11 point lead, and they have been ferocious defensively. The best defensive effort I've seen from Marquette. Please welcome Chad Taylor. My favorite part is talking to the other team's players and coach, just getting them riled up, just yelling stuff at them guys. As Trice airballs the first free throw. Well, he's going to hear it the rest of the game. It's definitely something that I think is beneficial because, you know, especially with free throw shooting, you know, the opposing team is going to end up shooting on both ends. Crowd trying to get in the head of They wean at the line. Missed the first. Like last year, we'd only be on one side. So the first half, when they're shooting free throws, you know, there's not many people like distracting them. And now it's like we kind of can plan out distractions and stuff like that for the whole game because we're always going to have a student section standing behind the hoop. Student section on both sides of Pfizer Forum. They're nuts right now. See, so yeah, I definitely think it's it's beneficial. And it's like it kind of gets the whole arena involved more instead of just like our side as much. So it's I like it a lot. 